Hi students, I'm Abhishek from Vidyaru and in today's class we are going to discuss some very interesting questions on compound interest and simple interest. The methods I'm going to teach you will be completely logical. There will not be any memorization, there will not be any ratta. So these methods are going to be really really helpful. So the tricks that I teach you, make sure you follow them till the end. Watch the video till the end. As you can see I'm speaking in English. So this is going to be a complete English medium video because uh, we know that English is understood by all. English is understood by all. There are a lot of students from South India, from Northeast India who are unable to understand Hindi. That's why we record separate sessions, complete English medium sessions, which are presented to you by us. So now please note that uh, you have to watch the video till the end. And if you like the video, please press the like button for sure. Share the video with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. When you share our videos, when you subscribe to our channel, we get motivated. And while subscribing, make sure that you press the bell icon also. So let's get started. Let's look at the first question. The first question is going to be on the easier side students. So let's uh, have a look. Let's see what this question tells us. A principal amounts to rupees 944 in three years and 1040 in five years. The first question is on simple interest. From the next one, we will talk about compound interest. Find the principal. So we have to find the principal. We have been given that the amount, this principal has been invested at simple interest. Sure. So now in the first three years, the amount was 944. Students, after the first three years, the amount was 944. The second condition is after a period of five years, the amount becomes 1050. So there has been an increase in the total amount. How does the total amount get increased? The total amount gets increased because of the interest. So with every year, with every year, there is a certain interest that gets added. So after three years, it was uh, 944. After five years, it is 1040. So what is the gap? There is a gap of two years. So students, you can see that in two years, in two years time, what is the interest? What is the interest that we have earned? 1050 minus 944. 1050 minus 1040 minus 944. That is the total interest which has been earned in two years. So in two years, the interest earned is 96. It is 96. That means in one year, students in one year, how much is the interest earned? The interest earned in two years is 96. So per year, per annum, the interest earned is 48 rupees. Every year, 48 rupees are earned as the interest. You know that in simple interest, please note it carefully, students. In case of simple interest, the value of the interest per annum remains the same. The same interest of 48 rupees gets credited, gets added with each passing year. Sure. So let's look at let's look at the first three years. After first three years, the amount was 944. The total amount after first three years was 944. We know that every year the interest which we get is 48 rupees. So now you have to find out what is the interest earned in three years. The interest earned in three years will automatically be 48 into 3 because the interest earned will remain the same every year in case of simple interest. So 48 into 3, that will be what? That will be 144. So the amount, students, the amount after three years was 944. This amount 944 is an addition of what? It is an addition of the principal which we started with, the original amount, the principal which we started with and this 144, this interest which we earned in three years. Sure. That means the principal, that means the principal was how much students? 944 minus 144. That means the principal turns out to be what? The principal turns out to be 800 rupees. Can you see that students? A very simple, very logical way of solving the question without using any formula, without using any 
memorization a logical approach suits us the best now let's move to the next question now let's look at compound interest and compare how simple interest and compound interest are different from each other now students this next question is about the difference between simple interest and compound interest let's read it once difference between compound interest and simple interest on a sum for two years for two years which is invested at 8% per annum is rupees 32. That means the difference between the interest earned at simple interest and compound interest, that difference is 32. And what is the rate of interest? The rate of interest is 8%. The time is 2 years. And we have to find out the sum. We have to find out the principal. Now, students, we are going to keep it very, very logical. I'm not going to teach you any sort of uh, memory trick. I'm not going to teach you any sort of shortcut formula. I'm going to keep it absolutely logical. So now let's see. Let's assume that the principal is 100. Let's assume that we start with a principal of the original sum of 100 rupees. Sure. So what happens in case of simple interest? In case of simple interest students, we are earning 8%. We are earning 8%. That means in the first year, students, in the first year, what is the interest that we earn? In the first year, we earn 8 rupees because the principal is 100. So 8% 8 of 100 is 8 rupees. In the first year, we earn 8 rupees as the interest. Even in the second year, you know that in case of simple interest, the value of the interest will remain same every year. Short. Sure. So, 8 rupees will be earned even in the second year. So what is the total interest that we have earned? We have earned a total interest of 16 rupees. 8 plus 8, 16 rupees. Now let's think of compound interest. For the first year, students, in case of the first year, it is going to be the same. 8% is the rate of interest. So on a principal, on a sum of 100 rupees, what is the interest that we earn? The interest that we earn in uh, the first year is 8 rupees. From the next year, there will be a change in simple interest and compound interest. The change starts appearing from the second year. Please note that in case of compound interest, from the second year, there is a change. What is that change? Let's see. 8 rupees is the interest that we earn on the principal. That is going to remain the same every year. So this 8 rupees is basically the interest that we have earned on the original sum. This will remain the same every year. But from the second year, from the second year, what happens? We start earning interest. We start earning interest on interest. That means in case of compound interest, we get, we earn interest on interest. So now this 8 rupees which was earned as the interest in the first year. This 8 rupees was earned as the interest in the first year. So even on these 8 rupees, the first 8 students, it is the interest that we have earned from principal. Now what happens? Now this 8, this 8 rupees that we earned as the interest in the first year, even on this 8, we will be earning 8% interest. So basically 8% of 8% of 8 rupees, 8% of 8 rupees. That's what we are going to get additional. That's the extra income. That's the extra interest that is going to get credited in the second year. And what does it turn out to be? Students, it turns out to be 0.64. So it turns out to be 64 pesa. It turns out to be 0.64 rupees. So now let's compare. If the principal was 100 rupees if the sum was 100 rupees then what is the difference then what is the difference in the interest between compound and simple the difference is this 0.64 which we have earned extra in the second year in case of compound interest look at it this 0.64 is the extra income is it is the extra interest that we have earned in case of ci so now what happens let's compare it if the principal was 100 then the difference then the difference between simple interest and compound interest is 64 pesa if the principal is 100 but is the principal 100 no the principal we have to find out we have been given that the difference is not 64 pesa the 
original difference is what the original difference is 32 rupees so now we will use the unitary method so if the difference was uh, 1 rupee then what will happen 100 upon 0.64 that is simple unitary method and if and students if the difference becomes what if the difference becomes 32 because we have been given that the difference is 32 so what will it turn out to be 100 upon 0.64 into 32 sure now if you solve it what happens 100 into 100 because I'm removing the decimal sure upon 64 into 32 when you solve it it will give you what 32 to the 64 students it will give you 5000 rupees it will give you 5000 rupees so the sum the original sum was 5000 rupees that we started with sure I hope you have understood the difference now what happens if the difference is of three years if this time period is three years if we have to calculate the difference for three years now comes the interesting part a challenging question let's see now let's look at this question and this is going to be an important question please note it very very carefully observe it right now we are talking about a difference of three years there will not be any shortcut to be memorized there will not be any formula to be memorized I will keep it very very logical so that it becomes understandable now let's see we have been given the sum of rupees 10,000 the rate is 5% and the duration is 3 years we have to find out the difference between compound interest and simple interest so let's think of let's think of uh, this 5% students 5% on a sum of what 5% on a sum of 10,000 so basically what is 5% students 5% is 1 by 20 I hope you understand this much if I write 5% as a fraction what does it turn out to be it becomes 1 by 20 so 1 by 20 5 percent of what 5 percent of 10,000 so 1 by 20 of 10,000 it turns out to be what it turns out to be 500 so this 500 is the interest that you earn this 500 is the interest that you earn every year in case of simple interest so in case of simple interest in the first year what happens students in the first year in the second year and in the third year in case of simple interest it will remain the same it will remain the same 500 500 and 500 because that is all you get you only get interest on the original sum on the principal that is the story of simple interest now let's look at compound interest what will happen in case of compound interest the interest on principal is going to be there it is going to be there it is going to remain the same this 500 which is created every year what is that it is the interest that we have earned on the original sum on the principal 10,000 rupees but I told you in case of compound interest what happens you start earning interest on interest now what will happen all these amounts that we have all these values that we have earned as interest we will be getting interest on that what is the rate of interest the rate of interest is 5% and I have told you 5% is what so it's 5% is 1 by 20 so in the second year now let's note it carefully something is going to get added what is going to get added 5% of this 500 please note it 5% of this 500 the 500 which you earned as the interest in the first year that means 1 by 20 of 500 so what does it turn out to be it becomes something like 25 so what is the what is the interest that you have earned in the second year 500 the original interest which you earned on the principal and this 25 from where does this 25 appear the interest the interest on interest that you earned from the first year now of course the addition the increase will be greater in case of the third year in case of the third year what will happen you will be getting interest on all the interest incomes of the first year and the second year sure so now interest 
on this 500 students interest on this 500 and what is uh, the interest on 500 5% 5 of 500 5% 5 of 500 the 25 5% 5 of 500 25 rupees on this particular interest sure now let's look at the second year in this second year this 500 was earned as the interest so now 5% 5 of this 500 5% 5 of this 500 it will be what it will be again 25 rupees and now the third thing 5% of this 25 also students 5% of this 25 also please do not forget this 25 because this is also the interest that you have earned in the second year so 5% of 25 basically what will it turn out to be 5% of 25 it will turn out to be something like 1.25 1.25 sure so basically now when you look at the difference when you look at the difference between simple interest and compound interest 500 500 500 sure let's cancel them out because these are going to be the same these are going to be the same in case of simple interest and compound interest so let's cancel this 500 thing what is the additional stuff that you get the additional stuff that you get is something like this the 25 rupees the 25 rupees this is the additional thing now let's look at the additional values because the additional values will give us the difference so this 25 rupees that you earned in the second year again these 25 rupees that you earned in the third year and apart from that what apart from that this 1.25 so these are the extra incomes these are the extra incomes that we have generated from compound interest so let's calculate them 25 into 3 75 75 plus 1.25 what does it turn out to be it turns out to be 76.25 so students the answer is 76.25 the first option and now I'm going to give you a practice question. But before that, make sure that you press the bell icon, share the video with your friends. And if you want to join our live batches, the numbers are given on your screen. Call our team right away and they will be helping you out with how you can join our live batches. Our live online classes are conducted in complete English medium so that language is not a barrier for anybody so that everybody can learn easily sure so call us right now and the question which i'm going to give you you have to provide me the answer in the comment box take a pick of this question read it carefully you have to solve this question provide me the answer in the comment box so with that i'm signing off thank you so much guys god bless you